Yeah, so I'm back to part two of is there a such thing as selling out? Now, this is how I look at it. Okay, number one, most of the time when you're out here in society, like I said, I'm speaking from coming from the hood. Okay, your family don't got no money. Most of them alcoholics, convicts, in and out of jail, drug addicts, dead or messed up. So, don't nobody have no damn money. You know. So, what other options do you have? You just gonna wear the same pair of drawers again? But for, for, for what? Day number 19? You just gonna stay one more time? Because you want to stay true to your soul. That's some bullshit. You can't even speak to nobody because you ain't brushed your teeth in a fucking month. Your socks are so dirty that you could take them off and the motherfuckers will stand over there like a fucking pair of hockey skates. But no, you ain't gonna sell out. What's just some bullshit? Come on. You got a party store in the hood, a grocery store in the hood. The, the truck is constantly showing off, dropping off shipments, so somebody, somebody selling out as they call it. To me, I think it's a bunch of bullshit. For real. I really do, because... At the end of the day, we all sell out because most businesses are owned by rich families. So where are you going to get the money from? You're going to fill out an application, get employed, and work to get a paycheck so that you can buy you some clean drawers, deodorant, clean clothes, toothpaste, scrape together to get you a place to stay so you can figure out how to make your next million dollars. But it, but they selling you you a sellout. How are you a sellout? Because you want more for for yourself, and the only people that can give it to you is these rich families that own most of all of these corporations that you work for. How are you a sellout? I don't think it's I don't think it's a such thing as selling out because in order for a corporation to make you an offer, you have to have some type of leverage that they not only recognize. But want to be a part of. They have to see some type of leverage in you. They just ain't gonna, you know, contact you. Hey, well, we uh, give you uh, two hundred million dollars if you consider to sign with us. No, it don't work like that. So in the hood, you just gonna fuck off all your talents for nothing. And somebody goes still ask you, do you want to smoke some crack with them? Then you're a crackhead, but you ain't selling out. But now you're a crackhead, you weigh 58 pounds. That's why I say I don't really believe there's a such thing as selling out. Now, people may have their boundaries on certain things they won't do. Okay, I can go along with that. But being considered a sellout, and you accept the $200 million from Apple or IBM or um, Microsoft or any of these people that are successful CEOs of multi-billion dollar corporations, I don't see you selling out to them. You're just recognizing bigger opportunities. But yet, if Taco Bell is hiring and they only paying seven fifty an hour, you try telling your, your baby's mama that shit. Okay. She'd be look, I just rode past the Taco Bell's huh? You need to take your broke ass up there and fill out an application so you can be a father to your damn son, yo low life motherfucker. You text so no, I ain't going up there because I ain't selling out. You know? See how quick the friend of the court pay you a fucking visit. You try to tell them that. Oh, well, no, we'll see what well, I, I ain't selling out now. Like, Kyle, your ass is going to jail. <laughs> so I look at it like this, you know. Snoop Dogg said in one of his songs, make all the ends you can make because when you're broke, you break. Check it out. Um, yeah. I think it's some bullshit because if you try not eating for a week, okay, and watching all them videos about people sellouts, and you look there and they got food <laughs> from, 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 from east to the west. They clean, they smiling. Fine ass, they got the finest women with them. Bad ass cars. Come on now. So you gonna go and smell like shit again because you ain't selling out. That's some bullshit. So at the end of the day, I look at it this way. 
business business. You know, everybody has their terms. Okay. Even then, I don't consider selling. I mean, everybody got their own interests. You know, maybe uh, certain things that go on, a person may be interested in participating for $200 million. They mean, well, I'm not doing that. But I'm not going to consider that person to sell out because they decided to do it. That's their decision. That's their choice. Like Bobby Brown said, that's their prerogative. You know, but being broke versus being wealthy, you know, I'm like, okay, so what's the point of going to school? You're going to be labeled a sellout, okay? If you work at McDonald's, you, you're a low-budget sellout because you're only making $8.50 an hour, okay? You're still selling out. Um, if you go and sign with um, um, Microsoft, a 60... For $62 million, they're going to call you a real sellout now. Well, I think it's because you don't have to be bothered with they broke asses no more. Because, you know, living in the hood is depressing. You know, because your whole block is with a bunch of, you maybe have maybe two or three decent people. They're just good people, work for the plant. Both of them married. I mean, you got a couple of kids, you know. And the kids are nice. They nice, you know. But everybody else is smoking crack, you know. Every time you look at their hand, I'm a fucking 40, I said, you know, supposed to be the so-called elder of the community. Motherfucker talk too much. You always drunk. I never got no motherfucking money. Talking about never sell out. Don't never forget where you came from. Fuck that. I told him long before I even fucking got out of here. I said, I'm forgetting where the fuck I came from. I'm getting the fuck out. Fuck y'all. And those of y'all care about, I stay in contact. Y'all don't like it. Fuck y'all too. Because there is nothing realistic about remaining poor or broke. You know, it is so-called selling out. What the fuck do you mean selling out? Because I want a clean pair of drawers? What the fuck do you mean selling out? Because I want some fucking deodorant? What the fuck do you mean selling out? Because of the fact I want to wash my motherfucking balls? Make sure my dick is clean and all that? What do you mean selling out? I don't believe there's a such thing as selling out to get out of poverty. Who are you supposed to get the money from? The drunks in the hood? And they ain't going to give it to you. They're going to be, nah, you know what? <clears throat> you what you need to do, motherfucker, sit down and drink the motherfucking beer and be a man. <clears throat> okay. They ain't going to give you the fucking money. So it, to me, it ain't no such thing as selling out. It's all about recognizing the opportunity. You know, everybody has their own boundaries everybody has their own terms everybody has some stuff they be no nah, fuck all that i'm not doing that whatever that may be that's that person you know but every if that's the case we all sold out we have because when you sign that application where it said they can fire you without warning for any reason do you agree or disagree that post has been the time i fuck that i ain't i ain't, ain't so called selling out you walk off no because you want some money you want to take a bath. You need some soap to take a bath. Yeah, you can't take a bath outside. All that costs money. So there's no such thing as selling out. I don't think Ice Cube is a sellout. I don't think Carol Burnett is a sellout. I don't think Sammy Davis Jr. was a sellout. I don't think those entertainers are sellouts. They just people that realized an opportunity and took it before they said, okay, well, fuck it, we changed our mind. And they took the fucking money. Because them same people that call you a sellout will be the same ones that are trying to hit your ass up for a fucking loan. I'll be, no, I'll get your big banana biscuit, shaped head looking cauliflower neck having ass away from me. I mean, you know I was playing. I don't give a fuck if you was playing. But security, can you uh, get this person away from here? So there's not a such thing as selling out. It's not. Because viewers, if you have a choice to have $135 or 100 and $35 million, uh, uh, which one would you have? We know you're going to take the second answer. Okay, enough said. Post your comments. Do you believe that there is really a such thing as selling out when it comes to having some money or none at all? I want to know your comments. Don't you go anywhere. And thank you for supporting the Brian Watkins channel.